Hi everyone, my name is Andrea and um, I want to tell you about my rapture and end time dream. Uh, it's, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself first. So for almost 10 years, um, I'd say after maybe the age of about 19 or 20, um, I've always been into dream interpretations and um, I've always been into um, tarot cards. I got into tarot cards and then I kind of felt like it was bad because I heard a lot of negative things about it. You can tell a lot of people negative things and it was just really emotional when I was reading it. And so I turned to angel cards and they were a little bit more positive for people, but you know, it's just, it made me feel a lot better to read them. And so, um, anyway, I come from that and um, my mother is also into like witchcraft and stuff like that. I mean, and as we know, this is a sin that is against God. And for the longest time, I didn't think it was a bad thing because I had a personal relationship with God. You know, I would write in my journal all the time and I prayed every day and um, I was never a bad person. You know what I mean? Like I never wanted anything bad for anybody. So, you know, I didn't feel like it was personally bad because I had a personal relationship with God. Okay. So, uh, fast forward, fast forward. Um, uh, I was in a couple of bad relationships and I prayed to God to give me the strength to not take it anymore. And, um, he didn't answer quickly, but you know, when he did give me what I prayed for, he gave it with abundance. I have two now two beautiful babies. I have a better relationship than ever with my 16 year old. And it's just, you know, God went above and beyond for me for trusting in him and just, you know, saying goodbye and letting go. Grateful for that. Um, I don't hold on to that anger anymore, uh, or anything like that because it's not, it's, it's a sin to do that as well. So anyway, I've learned a lot of lessons to this time. So, um, so I wanted to explain my first dream was about maybe three and a half, four years ago. And that was, um, it was a rapture dream. So I didn't know it then. I didn't even know it for three years after that. I had no idea what that dream was, but I knew it was lucid and I knew it was, um, it was very real. So all of these people were around me. I was up in the air and there was thousands of people around me. Like we weren't all like scrunched together or anything like that, but we were like all floating up in the air. Like it was just amazing. It wasn't even really like flying. It was just up in the air and very peaceful feeling. And I remember when I woke up, I called my mom and I'm like, I just had this dream that I was up in the air, like with all these people. And I for years didn't even know what it was. And then, um, actually I had one recently and this was the end of the world and I was still left. I was still on the earth and there was like maybe seven or eight people around me on this huge rocky mountain. And all I can see is like the earth and it was destroyed and like there was no more like nothing. And I'm like, how did I survive this? I'm still here. Where am I going? Like, what am I, where am I going to go? Like, I didn't go to heaven or anything. Like, where am I going? I'm still here on earth. And I just remember looking and there was this like big frog, uh, in the shape of a mountain. So I looked over and this mountain of a frog is like moving, like shifting. I, I mean, I don't think it was falling, but it was just shifting. And you can see like the face, it was definitely a frog. And so I'm like, why would I have a dream about frogs and, um, like in the mountain moving. Um, and somebody told me it was spiritual warfare, one of the 10 plagues or yeah. Yeah. That was on one of my groups, but I don't know what it was, but I just know that it was a frog. And then I sat there for a minute, like, God, where am I going? Like, just tell me where I'm going. And I remember lifting up my arms like this and looking up into the sky and being taken into the sky. So, um, it kind of sounds weird. I didn't even understand it, but then I started looking up dreams like that. And this is where I ran into rapture dreams. Um, and then figured out really what all of this means. So, and, and also 
this can't be nonsense. I mean, as from what I see when I look up people who have rapture dreams who come on, which this is what encouraged me to come online and make a video today. So I can't be the only one. So seeing all these people who have rapture dreams, it has to be true. There has to be truth to it. Like, it's just, um, so here's what I could say. Some things that I have learned from this. Um, I have learned that I can write to God every day in my journal, like I did, and have a personal relationship with God, like I do. But you cannot get to God. There's no way to get to heaven except through Jesus. So learning about who Jesus is and what he did for us. And I knew he died for our sins, but I just didn't understand. I didn't know him as well as I want to. And after my prayer with God, he is leading me in the right direction. I'm getting all of the knowledge that I need to know about Jesus. Because if it's one thing, some people might believe in this. Some people might think I'm crazy. I don't care if people think that I'm crazy. I want to go to heaven and I want to live God's will and I don't know if anybody's ever seen like watching people who went to heaven and hell videos. Like I don't, I don't want to go to hell. And I know I have sinned. I am a sinner because I did not know. I'm well, we're all sinners. A lot of the things that I did, I didn't know and repented from. So what my encouragement is, is to help not even just people in my area, but people out there in the entire world. So what I can say is um, I would encourage anybody to either text or call me or talk to me. Like I'm really nice and um, I don't judge people or anything like that. And um, I want to have a closer relationship to people who know this. Um, or have had an experience like this. And, you know, I think if we all work together and we are all curious about these things, um, I'm going to be, you know, reading up more about Jesus all the time. Um, if you want to like and subscribe to my channel, that'll be the only time that really I will actually come on and make videos is if I feel like it's something that the world should know. Okay, so thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye.